Welcome to dealing with materials data. In this course, we are looking at collection analysis and interpretation of data from material science and engineering. We are looking at probability distributions and in this session, we are going to look at lifetime and exponential distributions because they are also important in many material science and engineering problems. Uh, suppose what is lifetime? Suppose let us consider a short laser pulse that excites a fluorescent molecule at time t equal to 0. What is the lifetime of the molecule in the excited state is a question that you can ask. So, it is going to stay in the excited state for a while and then it is going to come back by emitting the fluorescent light. Now, f of t is the probability density function uh, which gives the normalized time dependent intensity of uh, radiation or light. Suppose if you have large number of molecules that are excited at time t equal to 0, um, in a short time delta t, how many molecules will emit light radiation? Let us say between t and t plus delta t, right. So, that is given by f of t times delta t. So, f of t is the probability density function or normalized time dependent intensity function. Capital F of t, which is the cumulative distribution function of uh, uh, the, the normalized time dependent intensity, basically gives the fraction with lifespan less than or equal to t and 1 minus f of t which is called the survival function gives the fraction that survives at time t. So, we are saying that at time t equal to 0 we excite a large number of molecules and then by the time you reach time t what is the fraction uh, which would have come back uh, by emitting light uh, to their uh, um, from the excited state. Uh, and how many survive in the excited state. So, this is given by f of t and 1 minus f of t. We can also define what is known as a hazard function. Uh, it is a failure rate function and it is defined as f of t divided by 1 minus capital um, f of t. Okay. f of t is a derivative of this function because this is obtained by integrating f of t. So, this is um, so, the f of t is basically derivative of this function. So, you can integrate. So, you will get f of t to be h of t exponential minus integral 0 to t h t prime d t prime. Okay. So, in terms of the hazard function or failure rate function, you can write the uh, probability distribution function and the, this is the relationship and that happens to be exponential. Now, the simplest choice that you can make for the hazard rate function is that it is a constant k. And what does the k, the, the rate constant uh, tell you? It tells you the relative fraction of members of a population that disappear in unit time, right? So, if you had n excited molecules and dn by dt are the ones uh, which will uh, emit radiation in unit time. So, dn by dt by n is basically k which is the rate constant. It is the relative fraction of members of a population that uh, disappear in unit time. So, this kind of description uh, is for first order chemical reactions and radi radioactive decay of materials. So, all this follow this dn by dt is minus kn uh, which means that they will be described by the so called exponential distribution k exponential minus kt and the f of t is 1 minus exponential minus kt. So, so, this is the um, exponential distribution and you can also um, go back to the nucleation problem that we looked at. So, just to remind you, so this is the exponential distribution and f of t is 1 minus exponential minus kt. Uh, in the nucleation problem, we showed that it is a Poisson distribution and uh, p of m, so for m nuclei to form, we said that it is n power m by m factorial exponential minus n. So, if you calculate p of 0 that is probability that there is no nucleation in a given time t, remember the t was part of this n, then you get exponential minus n. And if you ask for at least one nuclei to have formed in time t, that will be given by 1 minus exponential minus n. So, you can see that experimental data on crystal nucleation rates and induction times for example follow this um, 
distribution which is the exponential distribution. And one example is this crystal nucleation rates from probability distributions of induction times. So it is crystal growth and design and there is data that is given and you can look at the numbers and analyze and look at how these distribution functions look like. Weibull distribution is a generalized exponential distribution. Uh, we have already worked with Weibull distribution and uh, in this case the hazard function is uh, uh, ct power c minus 1 and if c is 1 it is the exponential distribution. If c is greater than 1 you expect higher failure rates at later times and if c is less than 1 you expect higher failure rates at early times. And uh, the probability distribution function is c t c power minus 1 exponential minus t to the power c. And you can include additional parameters such as translation and scaling of t. Variable distribution is very important in uh, materials because uh, um, failure for example many a times is described using variable distribution. We will work with some data and show that uh, you can describe uh, um, the failure using the variable distribution function. Uh, of course, you can use exponential and uh, variable using R. Uh, exp is the one for exponential. So, dxp, pxp, qexp and rexp will work and Weibull we have already used and dpqr is for the Weibull distribution function.